Dave Parisi, Exercise Bay, we're still with Kendall, and we're going over those progressions with her feet on the ball, trying to create an unstable environment, a neural environment, that her body has to activate those local muscles, those muscles that do not expand over a certain number of joints. They go block to block, or spinous or processes, or transverse processes, or they run very, very close up and along and down the spine, okay? So they're main purpose basically is for stiffening of the spine to, to help that modified elastic rod so we don't throw ourselves into a risky position. Back up on the hips, I have her on that more of a long lever arm now. I'm always, always, always right here on the ball. I'm not worried down there. She's on a platform. I'm going to ask you to go into that second progression where you keep your elbows down. I'm going to let go right here, but I'm going to hold on to one foot very lightly. I'm going to hold on to the other foot very lightly. Can I let go? Yes. I'm going to let go. She's going to hold on to that ball. This is an extreme. This looks easy because she's so static with this position. She has the ability to work this Lincoln support system and hold it steady. Most clients are going to drop their hips and they're going to sway. I would not feel comfortable talking into a camera right now and not holding this if I didn't have total confidence with where she was right now. So I'm going to come back here and ask you, can you bring your arms up straight and clap? I'm going to hold one toe, engage that core, stay as steady as you can. Neurally, can you hold this position? Yes. Five, four, three, two, one, drop the hips. Okay, now, this is an extreme, I would not recommend it. I have her only on her heels. This creates a little more of the long lever arm risk position. So some people might feel this in the back of their knees. Some people might feel this in their hips. This is something you do after you have extreme confidence, you know your client for a while, they have great stability and balance. Come back up for me, go into your second hand position, keep her elbows down. She is on her heels. This is the extreme, okay? This is stability ball madness. Do I recommend it? You be the judge. You have to choose if you can do this. Do you think you could hold this position? Yes. Okay, what am I doing? If you notice down here, I have my foot. I have a foot on one side. I have a hand here. So I am left side stable, right side stable. This ball can't move too much. Every once in a while, I'm just going to use my foot. Or I can fingertip it lightly. Here, hold. Hold the position, she's doing very well. Hold the position, hold the position. Five, four, three, two, one, and drop for me, good. I want you to bring your knees into your chest. Good, I want you to grab underneath the knee. Okay, I noticed the client grabbed on top of the knee. Okay, Kendall grabbed on top, we don't do that. We don't go into hyperflexion. This is something that was not planned. We grab underneath the knee, and I'm just gonna have her pull in gently and relax. Turn to the side and come on up. Roll your whole body to the side. Push yourself up so you don't contract any of those muscles. ExerciseBay.com with Kendall. I'm Dave Parisi. More core coming right at you.